Hello everyone and welcome to Sunday Friends. My name is Miss Jenny. And today in God's Word, we hear Jesus compare himself dying and coming back to life to being a grain of wheat. Let's listen to God's story today. Let's start our time together with the sign of our baptism, the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The holy season of Lent is a time to pray, fast, and give to others. We will light six candles for each week of Lent. During this Lent, pray, fast, and give. Let these candles be a reminder that Jesus invites us to walk with him for 40 days to prepare for the great feast of Easter. Dear Jesus, During this Lenten season, may your light shine in each one of our hearts for all to see. Let us be a light to others. Amen. When we say that we are sorry, God forgives. When we say that we are sorry, God forgives. If our sins are large or small, God will still forgive them all. When we say that we are sorry, God forgives. Let's get our bodies ready to hear God's word. Let's listen with our ears, we'll watch with our eyes, we'll keep our lips and hands quiet, and we'll listen with our hearts. Open our hearts to hear your word, hear your word, hear your word. Open our hearts to hear your word, Jesus, King of glory. There were many people who came to Jerusalem for the Passover festival. Some of these people were Greek. They had come a long way. They heard about Jesus. They said to one of Jesus' disciples, Philip, we want to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew, another disciple. Both of them found Jesus to tell him people wanted to see him. Jesus was troubled because he knew it would be soon time for him to suffer and die. He wanted his friends to understand what had to happen to him, so he told them a parable. Jesus said, think about a little seed that falls from a wheat plant. If it just falls on the ground, nothing will happen. If it goes in the earth, the little seed will die, but soon it will change to roots and a new plant will grow and push through the earth. Soon, the plant will grow and it will be used for food. Jesus was telling his friends that soon he was going to die. And just like that little seed, he was going to come back to life in a different way. Let's reflect on the story we just heard. Now it's time to say yes to God to show we believe in him. Do you believe in God who made you and me? Yes. Do you believe in Jesus whose mother is Mary? Yes. Do you believe that Jesus came to show us how to live and to love? Yes. Do you believe Jesus died for us on the cross to open heaven above? Yes. When we need help to follow him each and every day, God gives us the Holy Spirit to guide us on our way. Amen.
Now it's time to bring our needs to Jesus. Let us pray for all those who help people who are poor, homeless, and feel unloved. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all the leaders in the world that the people in their country have a safe place to live and enough to eat. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all our families during Lent that we will always be good disciples who follow Jesus and love others. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all those who are sick and in nursing homes that we will remember to visit them and bring them hope. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all those who have died that they will enjoy the kingdom of heaven. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us ask God for our special needs. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Now it's time for our closing prayer. As we journey through the season of Lent, please be with each of us to help us grow more loving and more giving to others. Thank you, Jesus, for giving your life for us and showing us how to become good disciples. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom.